Caleb here. I'm going to do this video as quickly as I possibly can. Today, I want to focus on my setup. And I know periodically people throw these videos up, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of the same stuff, but I think I've got the perfect setup, at least on the Nexus 5 Hammerhead. Everything always starts with a ROM. I am rocking Slim Cat. There are a number of reasons why I prefer Slim Cat as my preferred ROM. Uh, DPI, big fan of it. Like the way it looks. It's got my tweaks that I enjoy, and probably one of the uh, real benefits is the dark slim. Basically, just turns everything really black. It's got all your basic tweaks that you expect from a ROM. It's very lightweight and just a very good ROM. So, some cats my preferred. I use the Paranoid Android Google Apps. Reason why I do that, they have the Nexus 5 camera, which actually, I guess, nails a moot point because it's on the market. So, Bravo, Play Store. I um, guess that's not really a benefit anymore. All right, so third on my list, Action Launcher Pro, and that is my preferred launcher. Love the little swipe ups for, you know, bringing widgets up or having folders. Uh, it's got basic stuff, the swipe left to bring up all your apps and you, know, you can sort uh, really quickly just just intuitive have your apps always right there with you and uh, there's also some other features that I actually just disable um, just to try and keep battery use down and as fast as I can um, lots of really cool stuff in Action Launcher Pro so if you're not familiar with Launcher definitely get that way uh, all right, so fourth in my list here, I've got exposed the exposed framework and the modules associated with it. I absolutely just love exposed and the ability to tweak so much. And this is a list of some of my favorite modules. I've got a whole video on this. Um, so I'm gonna do this really quickly, but app settings basically changes all the app permissions, app settings for every app, awesome. Uh, key guard disabler, I don't like my exchange pin. Status bar volume, really sleek, shows the volume and the notification uh, status bar, so it's uh, really not intrusive on your screen. Unicon to change your apps and system apps, and uh, blah, blah, blah. Good stuff there. Um, let's see. Muse plus the extensions. Also, recently I've done another video on this, but the uh, live wallpaper just beautiful um and i mentioned extensions again have a whole other video on this so i'm gonna do it really quickly but um behang is probably the best muse app and even outside of muse just go buy it it's it's full of just incredible wallpapers uh facets love that any people who watch like mkbdhd his posters are that dudes they're good Icon paths, whatever. Um, let's see here. Muse, the extensions. All right, next on the list, icons. And I've got multiples listed there. Uh, right now, I am rocking Velour. They just got released. Really cool uh, guy on Google Plus. Just randomly found it in the Android community. But I just I love these icons. Um, pretty much anything by Dave Cover, also. Um, this... Uh, Velour, and I got this Flazing recently. Those two are anything Dave Cover. That's my opinion on icons. All right. Um, widgets. I keep everything very minimal. I don't like a lot of stuff on my screen. I only use two. Uh, HD weather. I get asked, or I'm sorry, HD widgets. I get asked a ton what that weather widget is. Uh, it's HD widgets, and... I am using the beta in the Google Plus community now. Check it out. It's good. And then Business Calendar Pro. Just absolutely. It's it's an all-time great. I, I love this one. I've had it since I've got Android, basically. And it's always been rock solid. Business Calendar Pro. All right. Let's see. Where was I? All right. So there's only two widgets I use. Um, oh, actually, you know, I take that back. Um, I've got my screen looking a little more cleaned up than I used to, but... I do have the Action Launcher Pro uh, gestures for 
swiping up on an app and getting the, the widget. So uh, I guess I do have some widgets more down there. Um, all right. And so the final thing that I think someone has to have for you know, a perfect setup is it, certain key apps. And uh, the first two I've got mentioned here are more based social media, Flow and Phoenix. Uh, let me show you. Flow is this app here. And it is just a beautiful Reddit uh, uh, app. Uh, I love you know the UI; it's just great. And I've never really been a very big uh, Reddit person. I'm just now really getting into it. But strongly encourage you guys. You know, I get so much more from Reddit than I do on Twitter or Google Plus. Just looking at the Android and Android apps, uh, Reddits. So. Uh, I'd encourage getting familiar with Reddit if you're not already. And in doing so, I recommend Flow. It's beautiful. Uh, oh, and the other app, uh, Phoenix. Just crazy beautiful Twitter app. Um, I love the beta. It just got released not that long ago. And uh, it it replaced Plume for me. And if you guys know me, that's a big deal. Like, I'm not even missing Plume right now. So, yeah, get Phoenix. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Tasker, oh my god, you guys know, passionate about that. You've had to have seen some of my videos on that. Tasker does everything. Um, app that was free the other day, uh, I tried to warn you guys on social media, but Cerberus, I have no idea how you say that, but tremendous tool. You know, from my desktop, I can log in, I can find my phone, or record audio and send it back to myself, or take a picture, record some video. Like, I don't know, I was, I was actually crazy impressed at how much it allows you to do um so i'm very familiar unfamiliar with it just getting used to it but man it's it's really good so far uh if this then that was just released recently also um still getting a little used to it but talk about a beautiful um idea of just creating basic if statements and then then it doing something so that's just i love that that's cool um Tasker and if this then that are very cool working together. Um, my last app that I think someone has to have for the perfect setup is Link Bubble, and that's just one of those apps that you have to check out. But basically, it opens stuff in the background and then basically it just saves you the time of having to watch pages load and gets rid of a lot of the redirects. So that's tremendous. So, all right, recap: ROM. I like some cats. Google Apps, I've always done preferred apps, but now I just realized that's a moot point. Action Launcher Pro for just an awesome, lightweight feature ROM. Exposed modules, I've got a video on that. Go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Muse and the extensions, just did an Apple review on that. I will definitely put that down there, but God, you got to have it. Um, icons, I mentioned Dave Covers, like my go to, but that flazings and uh velour that just came out those are beautiful too so check those out widgets uh, business calendar pro can't speak enough about it and you go check out the hd widgets uh, beta google plus community good stuff there and apps flow for reddit phoenix new twitter app that i think is just awesome tasker Cerberus, if this and that link bubble just crazy cool apps stuff like that is just amazing to me all right, guys, Caleb signing off. Hope you enjoyed my perfect setup tutorial.